Oh man. Super Mario 3D All-Stars for Nintendo Switch. It's here. Oh, it's got the little, uh, what's the font there? Hollywood? Broadway? I think that's the font. I follow now just because I'm a nerd. I follow uh, accounts on Twitter that is Super Mario, or not Super Mario, just Fontendo, I think is the account, at Fontendo, they're good. Follow them if you have a chance. They just have all video game fonts though, that's it. Um, that's the entire gimmick of the account, is just fonts. And I love it, because it helps you make assets. It's me, Mario. It's a him, Mario. Oh, look, it's him! It's Mario! There he is. Yep, you can still really just make his hat horrifying. Oh, look at Mario's mustache. It's actually like... Oh, that font. Okay. This is weird. <laughs> it's gonna take me a bit to get used to this. Oh. Okay, this is a lot more responsive immediately right out the gate than the Wii U version of this uh, port here. Woohoo! Okay. I can I can jive with this. Can I still crawl? It's me, baby mommy. Whoop. We can deload the door. Was that a thing in the original or is this just me messing around here? You see that? You'll see that I'll get a little closer. How how close does this go? So if they're not entirely on screen, as soon as the camera begins to obstruct them, it looks like, they deload. Oh, it's Locky 2! Remember him from Super Mario Bros. 3? And Super Mario Bros. 1, actually. I forgot about that. Locky 2 isn't the original Mario Bros. Uh, hello everybody, I should do an intro too, huh? Today we are playing Super Mario 64. But this time, it's not for the Nintendo 64. This is for the Nintendo Switch. It is the release date of Super Mario Bros. 3D All-Stars. The limited release. The, this copy will explode on April 1st, 2021. Um, wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob Bomb buddy. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. Okay, I know this. I've played this game before. Oh, that's not the button. Oh yeah, so what I was saying about the Lakitu Bros, though, that's a really cool way of personifying a concept that players didn't really have before, of the camera being controllable, um, is by assigning a character to it, and also just kind of letting you know, like, hey, we're gonna do it ourselves, but you can also control it if you want to, um, which is really neat. And then you, you're reminded of this by a couple of... What the heck? <laughs> um, you're reminded of this by a couple of moments in the game. Oh, come on. Just, no, 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 Okay, we're good. Jeez. There we go, that's a good one. Get out of here. Oh, that's... Ah. Uh, camera in this game? Still not perfect. <laughs> I will freely admit that. Um, those Lakitu bros, uh, I don't know if they need a little bit better paycheck to get the work done here, or maybe they just need better staffing. Um, but at least I've recovered one of the stolen power stars, and now I can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor, and the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for the stars. This guy's about to get clobbered. Look at this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I just really owned myself there for a brief moment. Um, yeah, this is a lot more responsive, though, than the Wii U version. Uh, that's one thing I noticed right out the gate. Some of the textures as well, you can very clearly see, are upscaled, it looks like. Um, which, admittedly, is probably not enough. Um, but some I will take, for sure. Uh, it looks like the floor 
for one thing, is a little bit sharper. I think it was a little muddier in the uh, original. Um, oh, okay. Well, it's probably a good time for me to admit, too, that I am not actually the best at Mario 64. Um, oh, man. Can I remap the buttons? Is there a button thing? Oh. No. Ah, okay. I would really like remappable controls, for one thing. Um, but alas. We cannot have everything that we want. These guys respawn pretty fast, too, huh? Is he going to give me another blue coin? He's not. Okay. Well... So again, impressions. Sharper textures, uh, sharper movement, quite frankly. If you have the original Mario 64 on cartridge at this point, um, I'm not really seeing anything that would really make it particularly uh, better for you. I love these guys. Do you ever say thank you? No! Well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me! I think I'll crush you just for fun! Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp! Ha! Pound yourself. Just kidding, I'll pound you too. You can actually just go right under him like that, which is cool. Fun Super Mario 64 tricks! Yahoo! Oh, wait. Uh, there we go! Oh no. Here we go! What is happening? And get popped. No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel, er, uh, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. Yeah! Alrighty. If you already have the game, this doesn't feel like an essential upgrade, though. Um, I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, if you're looking for, again, a way to play it in 2020 here, I think that you could do far worse than this, for sure. Um, $60 is still a steep price tag, I think, Nintendo. <laughs> uh, especially when you look at what other people have been comparing. And granted, expecting a full remake, uh, that is a little unrealistic, I understand that. Um, but, for $60, <laughs> then the case kind of gets a little bit, uh, more complicated, I think. Um, the Wii's emulation, as well, of these games on the Wii Virtual Console, um, seem to be better. The Virtual Console on the Wii, in general, was really good. Uh, Wii U, don't play Mario 64 on the Wii U, for the love of God. Uh, it is just so, so bad. Um, I tried to 100% it with a friend a little while ago, and Mario 64 being as old as it is, it it's shown some of its age, I think. People are a little bit harsher on it than they need to be. Um, especially, you know, I like... I, I believe that when you are playing old games, you have to be able to put them in context. Uh, and it's not like in the same way that you would necessarily look at like an old movie and they have awful special effects, you know. Um, I think that's a little bit unfair to measure games in the same way. Um, or maybe it is fair. I don't know. That's, who, who am I to say, right? 